Hi guys, welcome to our video. I'm Sergo and I'm a scholarship holder of Copernicus Berlin. Hi, I am Nari. I am one of the members of Copernicus Berlin. And in today's video I'm gonna be teaching Nari and you how to cook one of the most famous Georgian dishes, Hingali. So let's, let's start! start. So at first we need to prepare dough and for that we need water, flour and salt. Okay, um, how can I say in Georgian uh, flour, salt and water? Well in Georgian is trali. Trali? Trali. Trali? Trali. <laughs> and trali. flour, yeah, uh, uh, correct. Okay. And flour in Georgian is pukvili. Pukvili? Yes. And the salt in Georgian is marili. Marili? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, now I have learned some uh, Georgian words and we can start. Yep, so first we need 350 gram flour, mm -hmm. then two glass of cold water and a little bit salt. Okay. Put a little bit salt in it. It's enough? A little bit more. It's enough. Okay. And mix it up. So. Yeah, so the whole floor. Then I'll put some more. What? You should, Say in English, please. <laughs> you should make it with love. Ah, yeah, of course. Is it ready yet? Not yet. We need to put it in the fridge for 12 hours, and after 12 hours, it will be ready. Okay. Okay, Nari, now we need to make the filling of King Island. Mm -hmm. For this, we need following ingredients. First, we need meat. This is a mix of pork and beef. Mm -hmm. In Georgian, we say Horisada Sakonlis Horci. Sakonlis Horci? Sakonlis Horci. Horci is meat. Then we need coriander and onion. Mm -hmm. Kinzida Hachwi. Kinzida Hachwi. Yes. Then we need salt. This word you know already. Am I ready? Yes. This is black pepper. Shabi Tsitsaka. Yes, this is a mix of different spices. There are some coriander, basil, chili, and black pepper in it. Mm -hmm. In Georgian, we say kinzi, okrahushi, da shabi, pilbili. Kinzi, okrahushi, shabi, pilbili. Yes, okay. This is Georgian spice, it's dried spice, and in Georgian, we say khmeli suneli. Yes. And of course, we need a really hot water. Ah, it should be hot, very yes. hot. Okay. Okay, let's start the mix ingredients for the filling. First, okay. we need to take the meat. Meat. Yep. Okay. Then a little bit salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now black pepper. Yep. Yep. It's enough. Now the dried spices. Yes. Mm. It smells good, right? Yeah. Now the mix of spices. Okay, now we need to chop the onion and coriander. Okay. Okay, now let's start with the onion. Should I uh, small? Should be small, yep. Yeah. Small pieces. Smaller. 
I am crying now. <laughs> it's okay. Sacrifice something. Yeah. Do you know something about Georgia? Mm. I know that uh, Georgian dishes are very tasty, but uh, I don't wear uh, in Georgia. Okay, and what is the capital of Georgia? Do you have any Tbilisi. information? Yeah. And have you seen any pictures or have you ever heard any story about uh, Tbilisi? No, no. <laughs> oh. If you get a chance to visit the city, you should do it because it's really stunning. This is a mix of all the new buildings. Mm -hmm. And this is a mix of the culture, different type of cultures from all around the world. Okay, onion is ready and now we need to cut the coriander. Mm -hmm. um, to small pieces. Okay. And uh, how often do you make Rinkalis at home? Uh, at home we make, for example, once in a month, mm -hmm. but mostly we go to the restaurant and eat there because at home it, it takes so much time and since I'm a student and I don't have enough time, mostly we go to the restaurant. It's different when you make uh, hinkalis at home and when you eat uh, it in, at restaurants. Um, I think that it's a little bit different because they everybody has its own recipe and yeah sometimes it takes it tastes really different. Okay. But the difference is not so big. Okay, now we need to add coriander and onion mm -hmm. and then we can mix it up with water. I'll add it. Yes. Okay. No coriander. And Indian tomato order? Yes. Water. Okay, now I'll pour water and you can mix it. With, with my hands or with? Uh, with your hands it will be better. Then you can mix it up really easily. Okay. okay I'll take it. First mix and then I will pour water. I already feel the smell of Hingali. Mm -hmm. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. How much water do we need? It should be kind of liquid mm -hmm. so this hingali will be a little bit mm -hmm. soft and tasty no. juice is very important in mm -hmm. hingali I make it first time <laughs> you're doing it really good to be honest. Okay, the filling should look like this. It will be it should be juicy. So the hingali will be really tasty. Now we need to put some flour on it so it, it won't stick on the table. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to give it a shape with love. You can try. Mm-hmm. Don't push it so strong. Mm-hmm. Give it a little bit love. Give it more love. Love, mm-hmm. love and love. Love is really important for Georgians. Yeah. And I of think course for, for every dish uh, is love very. Yes, of course, but mostly for Hingali. Yeah. This is kind of expression of love in Georgia. <laughs> okay, now we need to flatten the dough and then cut small circles mm-hmm. then we make these small circles also flatten and it will be ready for the filling mm-hmm. let's cut this small part of it mm-hmm. this part here yes Okay, I'll put it here. Don't forget the love. Mm-hmm. Make a small ball. Mm-hmm. No, from this whole thing, small ball. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and now you can start to flatten this. Mm? Great, yeah. Okay, now let's start to flatten this little ball. You can make it this. Okay, you should flatten it really good, mm-hmm. so it will be quite flat. Do you know any similar dishes in Germany? Uh, yes, uh, that's, uh, that's it's uh, Mautasche. Yes. And uh, the feeling is a little bit different. I'll show mm-hmm. you how to do that. You don't need too much power for it. Just very easily, mm-hmm. you know, a bit floor. And you do it all the way so so it can be kind of flat. You can try it. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's ready. Now we need to make small circles and for this we're gonna use this glass and we cut them out mm-hmm. this size. Okay, the rest you can save for later. Mm-hmm. Now we have to make them also flat. It should be very thin. Don't forget to use some flour. So you can try. <laughs> yep. Okay, we can make one more. Mm-hmm. Mix it up. 
so it will be juicy we'll add it to here ok now you start it's like this way you should keep your finger here mm -hmm. so we can stick them to each other good do it you should wrap it right mm -hmm. Nice. Now we can make a challenge. Mm -hmm. Who will be the first? Hold on. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set. Go. <laughs> so, Ringal is ready and now it's time to cook. Now we should boil the water and then throw them in the boiling water. And it takes up to 5-10 minutes until they are cooked. Wow, Nadine, you did a really good job. Now you can cook it. Wow. Water is already boiling. Thank you. Achingali is ready, now it's time to put them on the plate. What? Also, I can't believe that I did it. You did thank it, you yeah. there for that yeah welcome thank you for making so beautiful kingalis okay our uh, kingalis are ready to eat now we can put it on your plate put some black pepper on it No, 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 Hinga. You have to eat that by your hands. By hands? Yep. Okay. Mmm. So good. Tastes good, so, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like that, subscribe our channel, click on like button, leave a comment. We made Georgian hinkalis with uh, love and I think you can cook uh, Georgian hinkalis at home and how can I say in Georgian good appetit? Shagar good. Shagar good. Yep. Then bye bye. bye See bye. you.